Tata Metallic's June quarter results were disappointing on the back of high raw material prices, annual maintenance shutdown for both blast furnaces and imposition of export duty on steel, leading to lower pig iron prices. Sales volume both for pig iron and ductile iron or DI pipes were lower, while realizations were higher quarter on quarter. Demand for pig iron softened mid-May onwards, while prices witnessed a sharp drop post the imposition of export duty on steel by the government from 22nd May 2022. The spread for pig iron turned negative for the first time in the last 10 years. On the raw material front, coal and coke prices were higher by 40% QOQ, which impacted the performance. On the back of lower gross profit, EBITDA was down 58% quarter on quarter. Now, lower EBITDA along with lower other income and higher interest cost and depreciation led to lower profit after tax. As per management commentary on the EBITDA front, Tata Metallics was impacted to the tune of 70 to 75 crores because of lower realisation in pig iron and annual maintenance shutdown for the blast furnaces. Tata Metallics has an order book of nearly seven months in ductile iron pipe segment. Capex for FY23 is likely to be in the range of 250 to 300 crores. It's likely to spend 95 to 100 crores on growth Capex, another 90 to 100 crores for blast furnace and around 80 to 90 crores for the maintenance Capex. Now, phase one of the expansion for DI pipes has been completed and commissioned. Once teething issues get settled, management expects commercial production to begin from September 22 onward. Phase one capacity is around 1 lakh tons of DI pipes. Management expects production of around 50 to 60,000 from Phase 1 in FY23. Phase 2 of another 1 lakh tons is likely to be completed by the end of FY23 or latest by Q1 of FY24. Big iron prices have recovered currently and have shown a slight upward trend since the beginning of July. Coal prices have dropped significantly with prime hard coking coal coming down from $500 per ton FOB average in May to below $300 per ton average in July 22. Spreads have started rising again and slowly trending towards their long-term average of 5,000 rupees per ton. The outlook for DI pipes remains positive on the back of increased investment in water infrastructure. Industry-wide, there's a total of about 2.4 to 2.5 million tons of manufacturing facility for DI, while the order visibility in the space is nearly 3 million tons in the short to medium term. The industry is therefore likely to add another half a million ton of incremental capacity in the next one year. Now, DI pipes enjoy stable margins compared to pig iron, which is more like a commodity. DI is expected to do much better with demand for pipes picking up and supported by additional volumes from the new DI pipe plant. Although September 2022 quarter is going to be a seasonally weak one. DI pipe prices have moved up to 68,000 per ton from 50,000 per ton. But now, with correction in steel prices, Tata Metallics is witnessing 10% correction. Regarding the timeline of merger with Tata Steel Long Products, the management has said that Tata Steel will give some clarity on it, given the procedural delays. We have reduced our projections for volumes, realizations and even EBITDA expectations for pig iron and DI pipes for FY23. Tata Metallics is the best play according to us on the water infrastructure theme and we remain positive on the stock. Investors with the longer-term view and expectations of moderate returns can accumulate the stock on declines. The risk to our assumption is lower ordering activity in the DI pipe segment from the government and correction in pig iron prices.